Oh my gosh, you got the Euro on lock. The <laughs> Euro on lock. What's like your next big goal in basketball? With music. My next big goal in basketball is to beat you in the NCAA championship. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In music, get me a Grammy or something like that. Go big as I can go. Now you gotta teach me your little mid range, little one footer. Just a little sauce. I can't teach you everything. But when I play you, you gonna know my move. Oh, yeah, you can't tell me the whole bag. Now. All the work that I put in, all my confidence is built for those moments when the game is on the line, when the pressure's on. Here we go. Good pace, good shot. Younger kids, I think that's a huge reason why I play the game of basketball, just to inspire the next generation and just to show them that anything's possible with great faith and great sacrifice. So that's one of the biggest reasons why I play. Here at the Paige Becker's Film School, fueled by Gatorade, I'm here with Flage Johnson. So the name Flage. It's very unique, so like, what's the origin behind it? Okay, my dad was a rapper. His name was Camouflage. He wanted to make my name rhyme, so he named me Flage Monet. Like, yeah. That's really good up. For sure. So do you think like music influences your game? Does your game influence music? How does that work? It's like energy for me. Like, when we play basketball, you get like a different type of energy, mm -hmm. but you also get that from music. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's like, it goes like hand to hand for what I'm doing. How do you balance them both? Like, how are you great at two things? Discipline. Like, it's a lot of discipline. I swear to God, I had to figure out my schedule. Mm -hmm. so I do all my workouts in the morning, and I got school, and I just go to the studio at night. It's a lot of stuff that come with both. Like, when young people come to your games, watch your highlights, like, what do you want them to learn and take away? You can express yourself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you could turn up, you could pop your junk, you feel me? You can yeah. go big if you want to. Like, you don't have to. Like, I love when people play with energy. You know what I'm right. saying? That makes the game exciting. So I just try to show little girls, like, go all out. Like, have fun. Like, me popping it, that's my fun. Mm -hmm. So, like, do that. And I feel like I probably do that in every clip. But <laughs> no, I'm excited to watch, for, for sure. sure. Everybody's like, you got to be ladylike. You got to do this. You ain't so. got to do that. But, nah, I love to play with energy. That's tough. Small Crawford. Oh, yeah. See, you be talking your stuff. Come I on. like it. Ugh. Oh, wait. Oh, you was playing. I was oh, a classic. Oh, no, how was that? Oh my God. AI's the coolest. AI. He's the coolest? Yeah. You like getting to the basket or shooting better? Oh my gosh, you got the Euro on lock. <laughs> the Euro left on lock. Come on, no, I didn't have a left before. I like to put a three, I ain't gonna lie, but I can get to the goal whenever I want to. That yeah. three done got crucial. I've been working on it. Yeah, you be talking your junk, huh? Oh, yeah. They was trying me that game. Ooh, come here. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh my gosh. Going? Wait, yeah, run it back. Run it back. <laughs> you look back at it. Oh, that's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. This looks like a fun environment right here. Oh, yeah, this one played Crystal. How was that? We're the biggest rivals in our region, you feel me? It was great. We played them this time, too. When I dropped 40 on the first time. 40? Six threes. Oh, wow. That's tough. 40 ball. That's always good. Mm -hmm. What's like your next big goal in basketball? with music and life. My next big goal in basketball is to beat you in the NCAA championship, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like it, I like it. Nah. nah, my goal in basketball is to just like get there mentally stronger, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, cause I know like going to the next level, like it's different, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it's a different ball game. So like for basketball, it's just getting there mentally. In music, I just want to put my music out, let everybody hear it, get me a Grammy or something like that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> go big as I can go. So what's like your why? Like, why do you play basketball? It just always been a love. Like, it's always been something I could do all day and not get tired of, it. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, sun up to sun down. And I always been like a competitor. Like, I hate the moves. Mm -hmm. Basketball is just that medium, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, it's just that place where I could go in the gym, forget about my problems, and then like, it's like I lead the world. You know what I mean? It's like a safe place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, for real. safe place for real. Oh, come here. Yep. <laughs> Quick release. I'm trying to work on that too. Step crazy release. Come here. Who's the toughest player you had to play against? Malaysia. Malaysia? She don't play regular. Nah, she's tough too. Nah, she don't play regular. Oh, Malaysia. There's come here. <laughs> Fly by. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> Midi. Oh, no, that, that was on the film. Nah, the mid range game is crucial for sure. I'm really off the pick and roll, that's why I excel. Yeah, that's. Because I can pass that thing or I can shoot it. You like defense? Yeah, for sure. I like to block folks and take their cookies. Take the cookies is the sure. best. Take come here, cookies. give me that. <laughs> like LeBron on the chase down? No, nah, come on. I had one off the backboard. Off the backboard? Yeah. Like, 
you like offense or defense better? I like offense, but I've learned now that like defense set the tone for me. It does, yeah. Like once I get a good block or a steal or something like that. It just hypes you up you know and then I mean? you know you're gonna get a bucket. Facts. And playing both sides of the ball, that's just become major for me. Give me that. Oh yeah. It's become like major. That's the best when you take cookies. Come on, I'm gonna lay you. <laughs> so I know you're talking about how you want to like grow your game mentally. Mm -hmm. And so I want to just teach you some reads upstairs and then you're going to have to teach me that little range fadeaway. Okay. okay. Ooh, all right, man, let's do it. All right, let's go. Mentally part of the game for me, I use a lot of ball screens. That's a lot of college basketball, you use a lot of ball screens. First, I always set up the ball screen just to get the defender going away from the screen so I can use it. Right. But if I'm looking at the defender and like they shift their eyes a little bit, like even a little bit to the screen, like they take their eyes off you and they look at the screen, like they're already worried about it. So I just, yeah, I just reject it and go this way. And in college basketball, like into the basket isn't as easy anymore. You know, the bigger girls, the lanes flooded. So I always say get to the pull up, like mid range game, like you just gotta master it. For the most part, I like to. If they're chasing, I like to keep them on my back. So I like, I'm patient with it, yeah. I wait for it. And then that, that leaves you one-on-one -on -one with the post who's got to cover two people, the right. roller and me. This is where I love to play. This is where I get most of my shots when I'm playing. So this is like bread and butter. So, cause I mean, big guys aren't really supposed to stay with the guards. So yeah. I would say getting to the pull up is super crucial. So you come, are you low? Like when you come off the air? Yeah, I try to get low. No, I, I like getting right here, like my defender's on my back. Yeah. So I don't even have to worry about them anymore, and then I'm just attacking. I'm on my back, on my back, on my back. Yeah, here. patience. Okay. Pull it. Now you gotta teach me your little <sighs> mid range, little one footer. See, I like to come to the side, right? Yep. Come to the side. I come like kind of full speed, and then when they think I'm going, I just pull it like that. Like that? Yeah. Cause like you come here, it's like they can't know. You feel me? They don't know, yeah. So really, they be low like this, and you just raise up. Yeah, that's her. That's him. All that's right, him. go ahead, show me. Are we come here, like that. But make it, of course. Cause if I come here, then I come here, and then you can head up. Oh yeah, that's the counter. You feel me? Yeah, that's tough. The other counter is a spin, but you know. Just a little sauce. I can't teach you everything. <laughs> when I play you, you gonna know my move. Oh yeah, you can't tell me the whole bag. Now. Not at all. I appreciate you. No, I appreciate you. For sure. I'm gonna work it. on this, no cap. That's it for the Page Breakers Film School, fueled by Gatorade. Thanks, Laje, for joining us. Thank you. Peace. Yo, Megan, what you got on? I mean, besides this video on my laptop, I'm rocking the Star Play collection. Sheesh, that's a banger. Where'd you get that? The overtime shop, duh! Just click right here and get fed like me.